Wana Yesu asikiwe. Haya tunaanza kesi hii ama ni namna gani? Na mimi na Yesu mko hapa mbele pokeni. Pokeni hapa mbele. ni shule ya muhimu sana katika taifa letu la Kenya. Technical training is a very important component of the Kenya government strategy to have skills, to have competencies and relevant knowledge for equipping our human capital, the young people of our nation, with skills that can make them contribute meaningfully to the development of our country. And therefore, I want to congratulate all the students of this college. And I want to give you my assurance and that of the government of Kenya that we are going to deploy sufficient resources to make sure that all our students have the best opportunity to acquire knowledge, to acquire skills, to gain competence, and they can contribute their energy, their talent, their expertise in growing our economy and developing our country. It is the reason, it is the reason, it is the reason why the government of Kenya, we have increased the budget for education by 127 billion this year. Because education is a very important component, is a very important aspect of growing our young people and equipping the citizens of our country appropriately so that they can contribute meaningfully going forward. I want to tell my Tibet students, yeah, we have enhanced the budget for Tibet from 5.2 billion to 10 billion shillings every year. The government of Kenya number two, we are hiring another 2,000 tutors so that they can come to institutions like Arurumo so that parents don't have to pay for tutors in Karurumo or any other institute in Kenya. Number three, number three, we are working on equipping and CS Machoku, PS Warrior are working with me as I talk to you. Our Prime Cabinet Secretary is in China to negotiate another package of seven institutes to get equipment for training in our Tibet institutions because it is important that we have the correct equipment for training so that we can get the correct skills and we can make you as citizens of Kenya and young people of Kenya get the correct skills for you to get a meaningful contribution to our country. Leo mimi nimefika hapa na nimeambiwa ya kwamba bado kuna wanafunzi wengine wanasomea kwa kwa tena. Ni kweli? Kuna wanafunzi wanasoma kwa tena. Aya. Ambe 
kwani nilikuwa na maneno. Unajua? Wakati nilikuwa na mpaka nilikuja hapa Tigania, yule mjumbe wangu anaitwa Daktari Mutunga, aliniambia iko matatizo bwana Kaimu lazima ukuje mpaka. Unajua? So, nimekuja na mpango. Sasa nitawapatia shilingi milioni kumi ya kujenga madarasa mengine mapya. babu inawafikia Tumekubaliana Tunaelewana Kwa hivyo nyinyi wanafunzi mimi nimekuja pia hapa kwa sababu ya ICT hub yenu Pale kwa ICT hub tumeweka kompyuta moja. Sawa Mimi mimi nataka nimwambie waziri kwa sababu wanafunzi hapa ni wengi karibu elfu sita mimi nataka uende utafute kompyuta zingine mia moja ulete. Ndiyo tupate nafasi zaidi. So that more young people. Let, listen to me. You young people. Tunaelewana? Even if you are doing what course, you can still learn a computer skill. It only takes a month or two. And using that computer skill, you can earn and monetize that skill. You can earn up to 50,000 shillings a month. And you can still be in school. Nyinyi muna nielewa? Hapa tuko na mtandao. Hapa tumawaletea computer. Don't waste that opportunity. I want every young people, to take, every young person in this college to take advantage of the ICT facility we have here. The internet facility we have here. The computers that we have in this college. So that you can learn skills and you can monetize those skills. Use it to empower yourselves, pay for your way around, and earn your money and get an income. <coughs> Tunaelewana? Tuko pamoja jameni? So, kwa sababu ya masa, na mimi nimefurai sana. Sindio? Mimi vile vile nataka ni muambie waziri wangu wa Alice Wahome, alikuwa na mimi. I don't think she's here. Kwa sababu ya mambo ya eh, maali wanafunzi yaba wanakaa. Sindio? Mimi nataka munipatie shamba kidogo ni jengee hawa wanafunzi hostel. 
ndio so tutajenga hapa nitatumana waziri wangu Ali Swahome tupange hostels at least mia tatu ya kwanza hapa sawa sawa nyinyi kwani nyinyi mnaishi wapi area muko area umu umu eh around around <laughs> so wacha tutaanza sasa safari tunataka community ya hapa wajenge manyumba lakini na sisi tutajenga pia hostels hapa ndio at asa these uh, young girls wawe na mahali ya kuishi na vijana hawa pia wapate mahali ya kuishi so we are going to begin that process and i'm going to instruct the ministry to make sure wewe machogu na walo inform your colleague ya kwamba nimesema hapa ya uh, karurumo eh karurumo eh karumo sasa <laughs> nimeongeza imekuwa story mrefu sawa so tukuja tujawajengee hostel so that we can give you an opportunity to learn in an environment that is conducive sawa sawa tuko pamoja si mnajua kuna jamaa ananisaidia hii kazi bwana deputy president jina yake ingine ni nani rigiji si awasalimie mmekufurahi kuona rais wetu si amekuja na mazuri na sisi tumeandamana na yeye hapa siku tatu kwa mambo ya maendeleo katika kaunti hii yetu ya Meru kwa sababu tulikuwa na maagano na nyinyi na wazazi wenu mlituombea mkatupatia kura tukapata nafasi ya uongozi it is time for us to pay back by working for you na ndio tumefika hapa Karumo si ndio si ndio na mimi naona mmejipanga sawa sawa si ndio mimi nimefurahi sana tutatafuta nafasi siku moja saa ile mdusa hapana iko nikuje bash tucheze na nyinyi kidogo kidogo si mnajua mimi ni mtu ya kucheza dance lakini najua sitaki mdusa aone mimi sana kwa sababu amepanga kazi mingi si ndio sasa huyu mdosi yangu mtapanga yeye pale mbele huyu mdosi yangu mtampanga pale mbele mambo yake iko sawa kabisa are you sure kabisa na watu wengine wanatuzia uoga ati mambo yake naweza haribika kuna mambo yanaweza haribika mambo yake iko sawa asante sana thank you very much may god bless you bwana asifiwe 